Hi everyone, uh, now I'm going to re make a quick review of the investment banking chapter which is the sixth chapter of the financial markets and institutions. So let's first define investment banks and compare them with universal banks. Investment banks specialize in assisting businesses and governments uh, sell their new security issues. The, these uh, securities could be either debt securities or equity securities in the primary markets to finance their capital needs. Uh, on the other hand, universal banks combine investment banking and commercial banking uh, activities. Uh, for example, they can accept deposits, they can make loans, as well as underwrite the securities, engage in brokerage activities and sell other financial services such as insurance. So what are the main functions of investment banking firms? In fact, investment banking firms bring new securities to the market, uh, as I said, in the uh, primary markets, and uh, they assist in the, de the deal-making uh, uh, process in regarding mergers and acquisitions, and they also advise corporations. So these are the main functions of investment banking firms. So let's take a closer look uh, at those uh, three functions. So how do investment banking firms bring new securities to the market? In fact, most securities, uh, security issues are sold by syndicates to reduce the risk. Uh, so a few investment banks come together to form a, syndic to, uh, to form a syndicate in order to reduce risk. A syndicate, as I said, is a group of investment banking firms, each of which uh, buys a portion of the security issue. Investment banking firms recommend the types, terms and offering price of securities. And also, uh, they help the corporation in preparing the materials required by the regulator uh, for initial public offering. Investors must be presented with a prospectus before they can invest in a new security in order to be informed about the issue. There could be some different types of offerings. Uh, as I mentioned, it could be an initial public offering. Uh, an initial public offering is a common stock offering issued by corporations that had not previously been issued. Uh, so this is the first time companies uh, go public. Uh, on the other hand, a secondary common stock offering is an offering of common stock that had been issued in the past, that had been issued before by the corporation. So what is underwriting? Underwriting is an important uh, function of investment banking. An investment banking firm buys the securities from the issuer and it, it takes the risk of selling the securities to investors at a lower price. Uh, so they assume the risk of uh, selling those issues issued securities. Um, there could be uh, different versions of underwriting. In the firm commitment, the investment bank buys the securities from the issuer at a, at a predetermined price. In the best efforts practice, on the other hand, the investment bank does not buy the entire issue. So uh, the investment bank just uh, does uh, the best in order to sell the issue. So the difference between the price paid uh, to the issuer and the price re-offered to the public is the gross spread uh, of the uh, investment bank, the, which is also referred to as the underwriter discount. Uh, there is a concept called underpricing in uh, security offerings, which arises because uh, the stocks are typically sold to investors at an offering price on average, about, uh, it, it, it is uh, most often 15% below the closing price of the stocks after the very first day of trading. So there is a discount. There is an underpricing uh, concept. Um, Sometimes investment banking firms also uh, help private placements. In a private placement, uh, uh, which is different from uh, public offerings, securities are sold to a limited number of investors. Uh, and those investors are usually life insurance companies or pension funds. 
In fact, private placements are more common for the sale of bonds rather than stocks. So uh, how does the offering uh, take place? Well, let's take a closer look at the offering process. The offering process uh, could be uh, a bought deal where the lead manager offers a potential issuer of debt securities to purchase a predetermined amount with a fixed coupon rate. Or it could be a... Uh, it could be a, like an auction process where bidders specify the price and the amount they are willing to buy and the secu uh, and the, in which the security is allocated to bidders from the highest bid price to the lower ones. Uh, so the, say it's, the securities are sold in an auction. Um, another type of uh, offering is the preemptive rights offering where the issuer may use a standby underwriting arrangement uh, in which the underwriter buys the unsub unsubscribed shares. Uh, another function of investment banking is, as you know, is the deal making in mergers and acquisitions. Uh, so what is the difference between a merger and an acquisition? A merger happens when two businesses come together to form one new company. Uh, on the other hand, in an acquisition, one firm acquires ownership of another firm. So the acquire uh, the the firm acquiring is called the acquirer, and the firm which is bought is uh, the target uh, business. Uh, so by buying its shares, the acquirer uh, buys the ownership of the target uh, company. So this, uh, the, these acquisitions could be either friendly or hostile. So investment bankers, in fact, can, can serve both acquirers, acquirers and target corporations in, in the process of deal making. Um, investment banks uh, help acquire acquiring company or the acquirer to, identi uh, to identify uh, the candidates, to, to identify the target companies. And they do the analysis to price the deal. The investment banking firm uh, firms do the analysis of pricing the deal. How, so how do investment banking firms uh, price the deal? They, they review the target corporation's financial statements and projections uh, of the future uh, financial performance. And they try to forecast f future cash flows. And they also evaluate the corporation's management team um, another task uh, conducted in this process is, is to perform due, di due diligence, which is checking the validity of the information provided, and uh, finally estimating the value of the corp of the target corporation or, it, or the price uh, of the corporation. So how does investment banks assist the acquirer to finance the purchase? Uh, they can... Um, they can do some bridge financing uh, or they can underwrite the sale of equity or debt. Uh, another uh, option is to arrange a leveraged, a leveraged buyout. Sometimes investment banks may also suggest potential target company, some poison pills, uh, some precautions uh, to avoid a merger or takeover. So the last uh, main function of uh, investment banks is to advise corporations uh, in terms of valuation uh, and also regarding the strategy and tactics of uh, businesses. Uh, investment banks also uh, advise companies uh, to, related to the issues of corporate restructuring. Uh, in fact, corporate restructuring types uh, include a uh, carve-out, spin-off, divest, divestiture, or asset stripping. In a carve-out, uh, the corporation would sell one of its units to new stockholders through, through an initial public offering. Um, or sometimes companies spin off a unit by creating new stocks representing the unit and distributing them to the existing shareholders. In case of a divestiture, uh, 
the company sells one or more of its existing divisions uh, which suffer recent losses losses in asset uh, in case of asset stripping some individual divisions could be sold after the uh, the target corporation is acquired the portion of the fee or commission allocated to research and advising services of uh, investment bankings is called soft dollars other activities uh, undertaken by investment banking firms include boutique uh, services in fact boutique investment banks specialize in some certain activities and um, they may provide small business small business lending and trading uh, of loans uh, and also other activities include management of pension and uh, pensions and endowment funds uh, of uh, various institutions so that was a quick review of the uh, chapter 6 of financial markets and in, in, in markets and institutions and these are the main concepts covered in the in a, in the chapter related to the investment banking